My name is Barjan, and I want to thank you all for coming and for showing up today for mental health. And I also want to say thank you to the creator for sparing my life when I attempted to take it last month. Mental illness is real. Age 13 is when I began to feel like the world was against me. I didn't want to eat lunch with my classmates because my mind began playing tricks on me, telling me I wasn't normal and didn't fit in with my peers. So I ran and hid in the guidance counselor's office, shedding unknown tears. Fear began to fill my heart as I no longer could smile. But no one took my pain serious enough because I was just a child. And I didn't understand why I felt this way, so I ran to ask my teacher, but she told me to call on my mother, but for some reason, I never could reach her. I was a fatherless child, so no daddy to shelter me. So I looked up to my big brother in hopes that he could possibly help me. But repeatedly, he overtalked me because he had his own philosophy. And every time we would speak about it, he would never agree with me. So you see, that's when I turned to the streets I was looking for love in all the wrong places, trying to get in where I fit in, changing faces. Wish I could trade places with the most innocent child. I never wanted to be wild, but the thoughts I had in my mind were foul, so what do I do now? 16, I checked myself into a mental ward in hopes that they could shed some light. But after going in and getting my diagnosis, I knew that I could only stay a couple of nights. I took flight. Well, I guess they're right. You see, my culture, we don't believe in this because after all, we all got problems. And because I was born to a strong black woman, I was expected to solve them, but not me alone. I couldn't resolve, my mind constantly told me to grab the revolver. But wait, I can't do that because somewhere I heard I am a child of God and I don't wanna take the easy route out. So it's me and my mind against the odds and wanting to be a whole person, I oftentimes tried to piece things together, but it gets so hard for me because my mind comes and goes and it changes like the weather. They called it seasonal. I guess that sounds reasonable, but knowing what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't believe them though. I'm 18 now and I'm still fighting the same fight trying to maneuver through the darkness in search of the light, hoping that it might find me. Don't want this thing to define me. My mind often confines me and reminds me of a slave and oh, how I want to be set free. But will I ever be? See, I hope this answers some of your questions. Parents, please pay attention to your adolescents. And maybe you can read the signs now because I just gave you my lesson on depression. And bipolar? Yeah, it will set your child back. Schizophrenia is the reason why she acts like that. Anxiety is why he chooses to stay inside and just because he can't do something doesn't mean he didn't try. Tears in our eyes. We often cry because we're misunderstood, fighting every day to be considered normal, yet society says we're no good. So should you ever encounter someone that suffers from a mental illness, Promise me to just love them or hug them because this is my life, not just a poem. And I hope someone can feel this mental realness. Peace.